One of the most frustrating problems a Windows user can encounter is when external drives don't show up on your computer. This is Ben Stegner from MakeUseOf.com, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem of Windows not detecting your device. Normally, all you have to do to use an external device is plug it into your computer, but there are times when it's not this easy. Whether you've got a brand new external drive that won't show up at all, or suddenly have issues with a flash drive, follow these steps to diagnose and fix your issue. First, plug the external drive into your PC and make sure that it's powered on. Most small external drives and nearly all flash drives don't need an extra power source, and many have lights that flash to let you know there's activity happening. If you have a large desktop external drive, you may have to plug in a separate power cable or flip a switch on the side of it to get it to turn on. Check your user manual if you're not sure. Next, let's open up the Disk Management tool to see if Windows recognizes your device. Press the Windows key and the R key to open the Run window, and then type disk mgmt.msc to open it up. Once you do that, you're going to see the Windows Disk Management window. Check out the list of disks on this page. If Windows recognizes your device, it'll show up here even if this PC doesn't show it. In the bottom sector here, if you see a disk with some unallocated space, you found the disk that isn't recognized by Windows. You have to initialize a disk before Windows recognizes it, and you can do that process here. Right-click on any unallocated space on your disk and, and choose New Simple Volume, which you don't see here because I don't have an unallocated disk. Step through that easy process, and Windows will recognize that disk once you're done. If you still don't see your device in this list, even though it has a partition, meaning that it doesn't show the unallocated space label, you might have to manually assign a drive letter. Go ahead and right-click the affected device and choose Change Drive Letter and Paths. You can click Add if there's no letter or Change if you need to change it, and you can pick any letter you like. Something later in the alphabet like G or J should work fine. A third scenario to why your device might not show up in this window is if it was partitioned with a different operating system. Windows can't recognize something that was formatted with Linux or Mac OS. If that's the case, you need to find your affected drive here and right-click on it and choose Format. Windows will warn you that formatting the device will permanently erase everything on it, so if you have anything on that drive that you don't want to lose, make sure you bring it to a, window, or to a Linux or Mac machine so you can copy those files to safety. Once you've done that, you can plug it back into your Windows PC, click Yes on this warning, give your drive a new name if you want to, and then choose a file system. For most devices, the NTFS format is the best because it's the newest and carries the most features, but if it's a smaller drive like a flash drive, or you want it to be backwards compatible with older systems, you can choose FAT32. You can leave the allocation unit size as default, and a quick format will work fine. Click OK, let that run through, and then you'll have a drive that's formatted for Windows. You may also have to use FAT32 if you plan on using this flash drive on an older device like an Xbox 360 or media players. Now this shows what to do if, you're, if the device shows up in the disk management window, but let's talk about what to do if it doesn't show up here. First, you should try a different USB port on your computer. If it works on a different one, the one it was initially plugged into might be dead. And if you're plugging your drive into a USB hub or expander, try plugging it directly into your computer instead, because sometimes these hubs don't give enough power for devices to work. If you still don't see your drive in this window after you've tried a new USB port, take that device and try plugging it into a different Windows computer. Follow the steps we talked about here to check for the drive in disk management. If you don't see the device on the second computer's disk management, you've almost certainly got a dead drive. But if the device does work on another machine, Windows could have a driver issue on your computer, and there's another place we can check for that. Open the device manager by pressing the Windows key and R like we did before, and type devmgmt.msc. After you hit enter, you'll see the Windows Device Manager window open. Look at the Disk Drives header and expand that. You should see all of the disks on your machine here, and you'll hopefully see the one that's connected but not working. In this case, it's the Kingston Data Traveler on my machine. If you see a little yellow exclamation mark warning, that means there's a problem. You can right-click on the device and choose Properties, and it will tell you in this area about the error that's pertaining to it. Try a Google search with that error message and see if there's an easy fix for it. 
While that might help you with specific devices, there are a few things you can do in general. If the problem started recently, you can run through a Windows System Restore to go back to a few days ago when it was working. You can also go to the Driver tab and choose Update Driver and click Search Automatically. This usually won't find a new driver, but there's a chance it'll fix your problem. If you want to take a heavier solution, you can click Uninstall Device to completely remove it from your system. Once you unplug and replug in that USB device, Windows should automatically detect and install the new driver. Sometimes driver issues can be fixed with a driver update, but this doesn't really apply to flash drives and external hard drives because they use generic drivers. But if your device came with an installation CD, it's worth a try to run the update utility from that. You can also try googling your device name to see if the manufacturer provides newer drivers for it. But you shouldn't install drivers from third party sites because those are only going to lead to more issues. If you go through all these steps and the disk never shows up in the device manager on more than one computer, unfortunately you probably have a dead device. Because this PC only shows devices that Windows can use, the disk manager still shows everything connected to your computer. So if it doesn't show up here, it's probably completely dead and you'll need to buy a new device. Hopefully, one of these solutions fixed your disk issue in Windows. To read this guide in article form, as well as checking out our other how-tos, hardware reviews, and giveaways, head on over to makeuseof.com. And thanks for watching.